Hi, thanks for joining us for another example of how to use digital learning and teaching strategies for numeracy and mathematics. In this example, we're going to look at fractions, decimals and percentages in line with the professional learning resource that the numeracy and maths um, team published earlier this year. So as I work through the, the PLR document, one of the first examples um, in there is, is about being able to split amounts into parts into fractions. So I could take four coins, for example, and, and split it into um, two groups of two. Um, and again, really easy to do that with concrete materials, but um, whether your learners have access to those materials um, in or out of school, um, one of the really handy examples for that is being able to use um, the maths bot manipulatives. One of the ones that's really handy for that is using these maths bot manipulatives that I've got here. Um, so I could simply drag out the four coins Uh, what I'm going to use here, uh, I'm using a Windows device, so I'm just going to use snipping tool. I can copy those coins, and I've already got a one note open, and I can paste those coins into my one note. And this is where one note comes in really handy. If I go up to draw, and I select my pencil, because I have a touchscreen device, it's really easy to notate the image and I can just write on top of that. So again, very similar to working with a whiteboard or a jotter, but you can do that digitally. Um, so whether the learners are in or out of the class, that they're able to access that just like they um, and, and replicate the, the way that they would work um, traditionally. Again, I could be doing the exact same thing with um, objects that I find in my environment. So I could take a photograph of some leaves like this, or I could also use the insert option here um, and I could insert a, a, an image from a file or from using the, the computer using um, a camera if I get access to that. Um, I could even find pictures online. Um, and once I've loaded my image, I can again, I can split it and show that I have two sets of two. And this is half and that is half. So again, I can, I can show my understanding of um, the amount um, as a fraction um, using my OneNote drawing tools. When it then comes to using... Um, Ideas such as a, a concept such as a fraction wall. Um, again, I'm going to go back to Maths Spot and I have a fraction wall tool right here. And what I could do is use those fractions to show how um, a half is equivalent to two quarters. So again, Maths Spot, a fantastic tool to be able to show that. Again, what I can use is snipping tool to copy that across to my OneNote. And again, equivalent of, um, it's a great way to evidence that understanding. So I could make it on MathSpot, but OneNote is the perfect place to um, to store that and, and to share that with your, your teacher, or again, if you were sharing that with your learners. Again, you've got some of these other examples um, of, of collecting different um, objects from your environment. Again, capture those through the camera, uh, upload them into OneNote, um, and again, you can annotate, you can make these kind of comments beside those images. And they're really effective um, part of using OneNote for your, your numeracy and your math is if I've got to um, notate um, a calculation or a statement like this, then that can again be quite tricky um, traditionally using um, digital devices such as um, if you're using Microsoft Word for example, um, it's quite hard to, to represent the, the fractions um, accurately. But here now all I've done is uploaded an image of a grid here um, or I could write on the plain white paper but I, I know that in my my classroom, I was always encouraging my learners to use one digit per box. So again, I 
And again, I can underline my answer there. Um, but as you find out, um, as you'll be aware from the PLR paper, um, it's best not to represent fractions like this. Uh, I don't want to see that. Uh, we're looking for the numerator on top and the denominator on the bottom. It's a straight line dividing them. Um, and, and again, the, the grids really support you um, being able to do that um, clearly and accurately as you would on a, on a jotter. Um, but I think one note again, because you're able to ink to the screen, um, makes it really useful for notating that type of um, calculation. Again, I've been able to do um, a, an exploration of their understanding to demonstrate it in, in a layout like this. Again, you can see with one note, very straightforward. Um, I simply scroll down and I'm able to um, just write on the screen and represent my thinking just like I would in my jotter or on my whiteboard. And the final example I've got is, again, um, working at a higher level and um, whether they're adding and subtracting the fractions but using um, the likes of the number line here. Um, again, I can easily represent that using the counting stick on math spot. And I'm able to show if I'm counting on four steps, then I'm able to identify my working, but also to to show my working. Um, and again, if you've got other tools available, such as an iPad with screen record or Screencastify, the learner could even video themselves going through those steps um, and showing how they went from um, the blank number line to the, the final answer there. So there's loads of tools that you can use um, digitally to support your numeracy and mathematics. Um, in this example, using OneNote and MathSpot to support fractions, decimals and percentages. I hope that's proved useful for you. Let us know on, on Twitter um, if you come along to one of the PLR webinars. Um, and it'd be great to see some examples of how you're using OneNote um, with your learners.